Sure looks good, eh? I think so. Remember three years ago? <laughs> <laughs> and there's the beloved Nürnberg Castle. And Apex. And Apex. It never, that house was just invisible for me, you know that? Before I could link it to Apex. I can see that the construction is going on full speed. A lot of containers with rubber, rubbish. Yeah, it's a little bit different, huh? <laughs> it was absolutely different than this. Yeah, no, it's actually funny when I think about it, everything that was on the building from the asbestos siding to, I mean, there was no driveways even. The, the whole parking lot, everything out here was all just... Uh, just think, concrete bust, plates. And busted up concrete, it wasn't uh, even... Um, it wasn't even anything that was solid all the way through. It was just broken plates and grass growing here, there, everywhere. Yeah, so I think so they used the same place for construction of carousel Probably, as yeah. they did here. Exactly. But uh, a while later, kids can have a safe uh, chicane play. Oh, it's doing pretty well. So today we want to talk about the, the construction plans updates of 2020. Yeah, four years later actually already. Technically, yeah, I guess, yeah technically so. four years. So. Uh, I checked it was like 16th of February that was the very first vlog that we made and yeah we've came a long way. This is going to be Club Apex and right now it looks like well it already Club looks like box. yeah <laughs> Club Shitbox. But now we have the big plans and in the last few days I've already explained uh, I showed what is actually happening from the wooden beams that ended up underneath the Christmas tree so either a late or early <laughs> Christmas present. Uh, but now that you are here, Robert, you can uh, walk us through the actual plans. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, to be honest, it's a small construction. It's, uh, you know, nothing, nothing too major that we're doing. But the, the idea is that our reception upstairs is just too small. Many of you guys have come and uh, funneled your way outside, uh, you know, out the, out the hotel lobby, out the front door and waiting, waiting for help getting a rental car. And uh, so what we, we knew that we needed to do was bring the... Uh, rental car and really the hotel reception everything down here into the barn um, and there was a big balance we had to find because we are limited on space here we're not outside of town we're literally in the middle of town and we don't have the ability just to go every which direction so we found a balance that we can still keep four to five cars in the barn and take where you always saw I think we always had for a long time the Pista and the E92 sitting right here yeah. so those two are out of here but uh, so we had those two cars sitting here uh, for the longest time and now we've, we're turning that in the reception space. So you guys have been seeing on social media, we've been talking about the bar and unfortunately it's gonna have to go. Uh, it's something we wanted to keep, but we also want the room to be aesthetically pleasing. I don't wanna have a bar, big bar here, small couch in the middle and then a big reception counter in the back. So it won't really look that, that great. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna walk in and immediately you're gonna come in. We're going to have racks on each wall for apparel uh, here and here. And then in, inside of the apparel racks, we're gonna have a nice couch right here, which you guys may see, maybe seen for the last couple of years, we had the leather couch in the bar with some chairs that you can sit around in a coffee table. And if you are waiting for your rental car, you can actually have a nice place to sit. We're gonna have drinks for sale in here and different things like that as well. And then you're gonna to come to the back of the space and we're going to have basically a reception counter right along here. And that reception counter, the, the team will sit this way facing uh, the guests and we'll be able to have four people to greet the customer and take care of business, I guess. Mm -hmm. So again, it's not a huge space, but it's actually three times bigger than our current reception, yeah. which is considerable. Um, Misha and I were talking about it earlier. We said, yeah, I mean, it probably won't be long before we outgrow this as well, but <laughs> we needed to do something for this year to, to be able to handle you guys uh, more efficiently and more comfortably for everyone as well. Yeah. So that's the idea. Up above is going to be part storage. Uh, there's going to be part storage above. There's going to be a desk for George, the mechanic, to take care of business. And we're actually going to have a table for a little break room for the team to have a dedicated place that they can get away for a minute and eat lunch as well. Mm -hmm. And then the wall will be... Yeah, so this wall right here, this, this post right here is a temporary post just uh, during construction. But what we're going to have is we're going to have, a, um, I think, a 3 meter 30 glass fixed glass window here, floor to ceiling. And then we're going to have a two meter 80 fixed sliding glass door here that you can get from the reception into the workshop side. And um, whatever car I'm gonna leave here, cause right now I'm gonna be reduced down to just one car of mine being able to stay here at any given time. Um, so my car, whatever I leave here, 
will sit literally right here and that's going to be immediately in front of the glass. This plastic obviously is just temporary so beyond that you're going to see our common practice is that we leave the F80 M3 taxi, the Shermer taxi up on the rack and then underneath will probably sit either the 720 or the GT2 and then next to that will be the other either the 720 or the GT2. So that'll be the configuration for the barn storage. If we needed to we can still park another car sideways right here but that's not the goal. We're going to hopefully keep it to just four cars in the barn at any given time. Um, stairway will go up the back. There will be storage underneath the stairs. And then, like I said, the whole upstairs will be part storage, a, a working space for George, and then, like I said, a table for someone to go up and eat lunch if they want to just get away for a minute. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that's the idea. So Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be awesome. I, Simple as that. I think it's going to be really nice for the team, you know? Yep. That's, the, that's something we needed to do for the team to have more space to work, to have more comfortable space and everything like that. Um, it was definitely a challenge in the office up there. Three people at that little desk was, was definitely getting really tight. There were times and there was no room for the customers to work and, 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 and to feel like they could move around. This has great access because you literally go from checking out your rental car. You might even see it on the rack in here or something, getting a check from the last customer. You come out to the outside and you're immediately where all the action is. We've got seating areas here that will keep going. Um, and then the rental car return is down here. So you're going to see when your rental car comes back, you're going to have direct access to it. You're going to have direct access to the team. And then where these stones are, these stones are all set up for a reason. We were visualizing it last year. We want to actually build some terraces right there where we can have some seating areas for people as well, which is really nice because that's a good place to sit and people watch. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. So we want to basically tie the whole property in and, and give it a feel that it flows from one place to the other, mm -hmm. whereas the old reception didn't really have that flow. Yeah. But at the time, it was what we needed and yeah. what we had. So the original plan, the, instead of the reception, was to have an hotel room there. Yeah, it, it's it's actually set up um, that we can build it. So we, when we built the bathroom, instead of doing a stone wall, we did a drywall mm -hmm. into the WC, so that we can simply blow that wall out, and we have everything prepared for a shower and everything that we can make that another hotel room. But I actually uh, want to go ahead and keep it because we also did another thing instead of uh, building a, a concrete wall between my apartment and the reception we actually built a drywall we have an opening and built a drywall there so we can actually have a door from my apartment into the office space as well mm -hmm. so I'm actually going to do is turn that into my office so that I have a place that I can work and have meetings right now when I need to have meetings here we do it in my uh, dining table so yeah it'll be nice to have team meetings if I need to or one-on-one -on -one in that space, uh, it'll, it'll make it a lot nicer. Yeah. So that's that's what we're gonna do there. Mm -hmm. And with the option that I could always do another hotel room if we wanted. Yeah, of course. What about this wall here? Because we had some plans over the years to yeah, do we've something had, here. We've had many different ideas for this space. And, and to be honest with you, one thing that we are now lacking is we've kicked a couple cars out of the barn, right? Mm -hmm. um, is storage for cars that need to be inside. Um, and we are, as Apex continues and, and grows and uh, gets new taxis and has old taxis and, and different things like that, if we're not selling the taxi, we, we want to be able to show it off or at least keep it, you know, somewhere. Right now, my garage is full at home and I don't even like driving the cars on the street, so it's really pointless, you know. Yeah. Um, so a vision that I have here is to go from this corner right behind George's car mm -hmm. and then to the corner of the barn right here. And then, sadly, we would lose this wall. Yep blow that wall out and take a garage out that goes about six meters past the barn there mm -hmm. and and build it all with glass walls on both sides mm -hmm. so you can see through it and when you're inside you can see the castle and everything like that and then that would afford about six car storage in there mm -hmm. so with four garage doors on this side so you'd have the two cars that you don't drive as much sideways up against the glass walls yeah and then the four cars that you would drive more often going in and out and that would be not necessarily for the taxis because the taxis are going out in in and out every day rain mm -hmm. shine whatever those would always stay in here but that would be more for a 600 lt the m4 gt the e92 stuff like that the m3 collection whatever is that going to come exactly but i mean that's perfect that's exactly what i have in mind for that so this that would be what this space would be for but that's still maybe two years away i don't know yeah you know no no rush there we'll see well we survived this far so i think we can we've, make another we've made it exactly. <laughs> we've made exactly. it so <laughs> yeah for all these uh, thank you very much for explaining it yeah, no um and very much looking forward to see how it is going to turn out i believe the construction we Work time was planned to be six weeks, but yeah, so it's probably going to be quicker. Yeah, the, the only thing that we have to wait on is the windows because the windows have to be ordered once the 
exact framing is set because they have to be we're not doing any extra material or anything like that we're trying to have as much glass space as possible as little posts so those have to be ordered i think those will get ordered on tuesday once everything's uh, the framing is done that's going to be the only holdup yeah. um, but everything else should be done within four weeks well this concludes it pretty much the 2020 construction update again thank you very very much for no this problem. detailed update i'm very much looking forward to experience the first place and we are very much looking forward to see you guys here and to hear your feedback on how it is going to turn out and uh, yeah let us know in the comments when you are going to come and if you uh, aren't let's give them some incentive yeah i mean i'd say we're going to do uh, what we want to do for february anyhow mm -hmm. is that anyone that books in february can get 10 percent off yeah that's something we're not doing publicly on our on our website or anything like that that's literally just for the social media followers the people that are on the on if it's instagram facebook or youtube it's a little bit of incentive. So anything that's booked in February, we'll do 10% off. Mm -hmm. The exception is the GT2 RS. We're not yeah. doing any discounts on that. That's something that we actually set up in last year and we stuck to it. And yeah. I mean, the car w went like crazy. So yeah. um, it's, a, it's a car that we're already discounting by not charging 400 a lap for it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So uh, you can uh, obviously say that you're gonna come in November if the track's gonna be open, but uh, as long as you make the payment uh, within February, then that's how it's going to work. You can, you can also just get the voucher. Valentine's Day is coming up, so you can ask your girlfriend or maybe your boyfriend. But anyhow, see you guys at the Nürburgring and uh, yeah, in our new reception. And I'll be back in about two weeks and I can show you more the, uh, the updates that are going to follow through. Bye. Food chat, are we gonna have food chat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, sorry for that. I mean, food shot zero out of ten. Yeah, zero out of ten. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>